Hello. Um. Bro, this is the best Beatles movie. It's better than Hard Day's Night. It's better than Help. It's better than Magical Monster Tour. It's better than Yellow Summer. It's better than Let It Be. It's better than Sgt. Pepper. It's better than Two of Us. And it's better than Yesterday. It's better than all the other Beatles movies. This is a perfectly crafted movie. They perfectly put the songs into the movie. They perfect, like, so perfect. Well, nothing's perfect. My sisters are out there. Um, but this is an amazing film. Ugh. Um, like... Helter Skelter Revolution and uh, something are like my favorite, some of my favorite Beatles song ever, and they nailed them perfectly, and especially Revolution, it they fit into the story so well. Yeah, of course, Yellow Submarine was all, will always be in a close second behind Across the Universe. So I guess all good Beatles films end with all you need is love. So. Like, cannot even put into words how good this film is. And it's on the streaming service called Voodoo. And, okay, so if you Google across the universe, hit on the little th ball circle that says vo Voodoo, you can watch it for free. Like, like, I'm not even kidding. When you Google across the universe, it says... Let me do it right now. Across the universe. Yeah. It says watch movie. To to be. You know, Vubi or whatever. Vuvu or whatever I said. To be. Watch free. For, you can watch this for free. I'm not gonna explain the movie. Cause that would be too hard. It's just too good. It's made by the people who made the puppets for the Lion King. Such a good movie. Like at least in my top 15 favorite movies of all time. Like, okay, I, I, did, I got the soundtrack right here. Like, look at the soundtrack. Girl, hold me tight. All my loving, I wanna hold your hand. With a little help from my friends, it won't be long. I've just seen a face, let it be, come together. Why don't we do it? The, uh, oh, why don't we do it in the road? If I feel I I want you, we're gonna be talking about I want you a lot this episode, dear Bruce Bruce whatever flying blue J way. I am the one does. being for the benefit of Mr. Kite because something, oh darling, Strawberry Fields Forever Revolution, while my girl gently, while my guitar gently weeps across the universe, Helter Skelter, happiness in is a warm gun, Blackbird, hey Jude, don't let me down, all you need is love, where is this? Okay, a day in the life was also on it. So, you know, like the bond between Jude and Max is just so good, and 
I want you to I want you to fit so well in the story, even though it's not about a girl or somebody that they love. It's about the I want you um Uncle Sam posters. And it's crazy. I almost cried when they sang across the universe. Well, I did cry during this movie, but not during that. Um, Revolution? I know Jude was kind of being a jerk, but I feel like... I don't know. I, I, it was a cool, it was a really cool sequence. I do, I mean, he was being a jerk to Lucy, but like, is he right or is he wrong? I mean, I don't want to start that conversation up, but, um, you know, that's the real question of the whole movie, what characters you can trust and stuff, like, Oh my love, I'll be for you. Just <sighs> like they also have a rooftop performance. Like you know, this movie's good when they have a rooftop performance. Let it be. Well, now, you know, when I said I cried during this movie, yeah, it was about, like, 20 to 30 minutes into the movie. <coughs> what let it be? Oh, my gosh. It just shows how amazing the Beatles' music is actually is. As many compliments I can give to this movie, I can also eventually go back to the Beatles. All these compliments go back to the Beatles. A girl, hold me tight, all my love, and I want to hold your hand. With a little help for my, my friends, it won't be long. I've just seen a face, let it be, come together. Why don't we do it on the road? I, f I if I feel, I, w I want you. Dear Bruce, flying Blue Jay way, I'm the walrus being the benefit of Mr. Kite because something, oh darling, Strawberry Fields Revolution, while my guitar gently weeps across the universe, it's helter skelter, happiness, ha happiness is a warm gun, blackbird, hey Jude, don't let me down, all you need is love, Lucy and the Sky with Diamonds are all perfectly crafted originally from the Beatles. From John, Paul, George, and Ringo. <sighs> this movie is so good. Also, the soundtrack's really good. I don't really like Beatles covers all the time, but dang, do they nail every single song perfectly. Except for, maybe being for the benefit of Mr. Craig, but I don't really like that song anyway, so... Ew. And you know, uh, you know that... Well, you probably don't, because you haven't seen this film, because not enough people have seen this film. And it kind of flopped, somehow. It, so during Hey Jude, you know the part... Uh, that's Max when he sees Jude again, and I just felt so happy. And... I quote that from before. I've quoted that before when I'm excited, but now I'll do it every time. I'm happy or excited or whatever. Strawberry feels. Ooh. 
And also, some songs, I'm gonna be real with you. Well, when, like, I didn't hear before. I've never heard before this movie. Don't kill me. Those songs are girl. Why don't we do it in the road? Being for the benefit of, of Mr. Kite. Yeah, that's it. I mean, but, like, they didn't just go for all the standard Beatles songs that everybody knows. They really didn't. Like, the opening song is Girl. Definitely not one of their most popular songs. Well, they probably don't, but if I were to go through every song and every album that the, that song was from, they'd probably have a song for every album, my like, jeez. I don't even know how long I've been recording. I've, I can, I can go on and on and on and on about this. Do you? <laughs> Helter Skelter is played like three times, by the way, and I, I mean Helter Skelter is one of my favorite Beatles songs, so I don't mind. Do you know what I'm gonna break you? Uh, I'm not getting copyright claimed on this video. So, yeah. Um. <clears throat> this is a perfectly crafted movie. I don't know. I, uh, watch it. Just watch it. I can't tell you enough that you should just see this movie. Ugh, such a good movie. I'm looking at how long my other videos on my kill submarine are and they're like 16 minutes so probably gonna run this one for like a lot longer like 17 minutes or something I don't know uh and like I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I want you. so, like, you feel a lot of emotions. You feel emotions in this. Ugh. Oh, it wasn't this movie, but the movie definitely has something to do with it. But I remember something that just happened in my normal life, you know. Not my, like, YouTube life, like, where I always talk about Star Wars and Beatles and Marvel and Jurassic Park and stuff like that. I, I forget how, what, how, what, like, where. But I just got reminded. Well, not reminded. I truly found out why the Beatles were just so fan. I maybe it was. I don't know. I forgot what it was. I honestly do. Maybe it was a cover, or it was. I maybe like I don't know. 
or like I went to Kings Island or somewhere and they were doing a live show and they put one of the Beatles songs in it. I don't know. But I remember I think I think it was live performance it was probably at Kings Island or something. And I was just like, Yeah. This is why the Beatles went on the L Ed Sullivan show and became the biggest rock band of all time. Yeah. Because just listening to this music somehow doesn't honor the Beatles enough. But even watching them live doesn't give them enough credit. Watching live recordings, like, 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 watching them live, I mean, like, eight days a week, like, watching that movie eight days a week, and being like, oh, yeah, they did, they, uh, were so good live and whatever. That's what they tell you. But, but they are amazing live. They are, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm speedless. I, I literally just finished this movie and I'm speechless. I mean, like, this is such a good movie. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. I'll never see the Beatles live. Maybe I'm just dealing with that in my head. I was like, I'll never see the 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 the, 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 the Beatles live. Yeah, that sucks for me. For everybody who saw any the Beatles live, like back in the '60s or whatever, or even saw um. Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr do something together, like, you are so lucky. <sighs> uh, I just, uh, I wish I, I, I would, I would uh, I'm speechless after seeing this movie. I mean, like, it doesn't even have the Beatles in it. They don't even say the Beatles once. It's not even about the Beatles, but this movie is the best Beatles movie, and it blows your mind. I've been going for 18 minutes. I thought that was like two minutes. Blows your, this movie blows your mind on how good it is. Really good. Uh, well, next time's episode, because I'm going to 20 minutes here, next time's episode is... Yesterday. Uh, see you then.